Oblat Taliotic de Saint Agusti, 0.9 kilometers. Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon from beautiful Menorca. I'm here at a ancient village site that as you can see is 0.9 kilometers. Cova de Colombes, I don't know what that means. Private property, not gonna find a beach there. 900 meter walk, starting at this uh, gate here. And so uh, I'm going to spend the uh, day once again exploring around this amazing, amazing island. Yesterday I explored uh, certain areas and I'm going to go to some uh, new places today, including a beach. You can see the uh, sea just barely right there. And so after this uh, hike in the very hot, hot afternoon sun, it is like 12.30 in the afternoon, then uh, I will uh, head down there and uh, do a uh, swim in the water and then see some more of Menorca here, including the uh, main city, the capital city of Mao, and maybe some other beaches or other uh, historical uh, sites or whatever. Just going to uh, explore around and see what I come across. So let's get uh, hiking here and go see this really cool ancient village. So a quick uh, explanation here. The Taliotic settlement of Saint Auguste Vell. In the settlement of Saint Auguste Vell, we find one of the most unique Taliots from Menorca's prehistoric period. This is the Eastern Taliot. An inner chamber still conserves the ceiling's original wooden beams, a rare occurrence in European prehistory, considering the fact that this structure is around 3,000 years old. So Taliotic refers to the uh, civilization, I guess. The Taliotic culture represents the last prehistoric period in Menorca and is characterized by the construction of Taliots, monumental structures that are only found in Mallorca and Menorca. All right, let's get hiking. So you can see the sea right there. Luckily there's a bit of a breeze coming off the sea that's helping to cool things down a bit. And check it out. Looks like we have arrived. And I'm the only one here. Amazing, check that out. And so there are lots of these different uh, sites all over Menorca. I found out about this one just like 30 minutes ago or something, looking on the map and looking for uh, one to visit that was kind of nearby, we got a uh, mule or a donkey hanging out in the shade there. Oriental Taliot. And so I guess the Taliot is the building. The Taliots of Menorca, unlike those of Mallorca, are primarily solid, although some may show a narrow corridor. The Eastern Taliot of St. Augusti Vell is exceptional, as it is the Menorcan Taliot with the largest inner chamber of any. Taliots were public buildings and territorial symbols, also characterized as being used for surveillance, while they may have had additional purposes as well. Hola. Como esta? Que tal? Es un caliente día, si? Muy caliente. All right, I guess I can uh, walk around the little path here. Whoop, there's another guy inside there, so don't want to bug him, but wow, you can see that like central column. He's staying where it's nice and cool. Hey there. Wish I could walk in there, but uh, who knows if he might uh, freak out on me. The dwellings of the late Taliotic period, 550 to 123 BC. The dwellings from this period are characterized by their circular shape, which explains why they're referred to as circles, circles in Catalan. They are the most archaeologically studied structures from Menorcan prehistory. There you can see uh, what it might have looked like when it was lived in.
So I thought there was going to be more. So far I've just found those two structures and hiking around and there aren't really any more uh, signs or anything. Man, this is unforgiving land here. I'm camping and trying to put a, a tent stake into this hard dirt is like almost impossible. You need a big rock to like pound it in. So I can't imagine trying to uh, live off of the land on this island back in the BC period or even up to, you know, recently of trying to uh, scrape out an existence with so little rain and harsh sun. This could be more uh, of the ruins, I guess. Just piles of rocks. I suppose they didn't so much live off the land as they lived off the sea. That must have been the main uh, source of sustenance. I suppose uh, some farming might have been possible. Maybe there's olive trees and figs and stuff. So that is Santo Tomas, or St. Thomas Beach. I was here yesterday, quite crowded as you can see, but there is another beach, a uh, hike around the uh, corner and I guess the bay or something here, like maybe a kilometer. So going to uh, get over there and check that out, hopefully it is less crowded, although there are quite a few people on the trail, so we'll see. And a little uh, travel tip. Then, uh, as you can see, I got this uh, sarong thing on me. When I travel, then I have both a towel and a sarong. Klatia Benigaus. And so my towel right now is at my campsite, hanging on a branch, drying out. And when I go out to the beach, then I bring this thing. And it is uh, smaller and lighter. Uh, and it actually is bigger when you spread it out, like if you want to lay on the beach. And so it takes up less space in your backpack when you're out and about. And also you don't get your towel all salty and, you know, sandy and stuff like that. So it is uh, worth the uh, little bit extra weight to uh, have this thing. And so this is Benny Gauss Beach. It's still pretty crowded. I think I'm just going to uh, take a quick swim and then head back to the car and keep on exploring. There's much more to see of the island and I don't want to spend too much time uh, here. There are uh, more beaches. You can keep on hiking up the trail and see more beaches that would probably be more secluded, less people. But I want to keep on rolling here and show you much more of Menorca. So this is the little town of Aleor. Just uh, decided to stop along the way to uh, Mao, the uh, capital of Menorca that I'm going to, and see what this uh, little town is all about. Which is to say, not a whole lot happening. Quiet in the afternoon, as is usually the case in Spanish towns. Placa de la Constitución. It's pretty though. Supermercado, that's what I need. A juice. Hola. Pineapple, kale, passion fruit, mango, apple. That is rocking. So it looks like the main uh, church is up ahead. Go take a look.
And so this is Mao, also called Mahon, the capital town of Menorca. Excuse me. A population of about 28,000. It has one of the deepest ports in the world. And it is apparently the uh, birthplace of mayonnaise. Fun little fact there. So I'm going to uh, look for that, uh, the harbor. A nice, uh, restaurant area here and I'm ready for some lunch so I might stop by here a bit later and this is the main cathedral up ahead I'm sure these tables will be packed tonight. Afternoon is when the uh, Spanish towns are pretty much dead and then in the evenings is when they really come alive. And late into the night, especially in summer. And check out this incredible view. So it's one of the largest natural harbors in the world. It's very long and thin. And it goes out to the sea that way. The Fortaleza de la Mola. So this fortress, La Mola, was uh, completed in 1875 and was one of the largest European fortresses constructed in the 19th century. and apparently isn't uh, too overcrowded. So that's nice. Renando la Majestad de la Señora de Isabel II. So Queen Elizabeth II of Spain, Isabel Elizabeth. And then it says they're Año de 1852. Maybe that was when they started the construction and completed in 1875. Tickets are eight euros. The gun that we have here, which are the largest in Spain, we open the gun barrel upstairs, the machinery room, and the, the shooting room. I see. Uh, so I don't at, know at what time? It's at six thirty. Oh, that's uh, coming up, I guess, right? It's actually it would be a little tight to go walking or just just just, but my I asked my colleague and she's more than happy to uh, give you a lift all the way to where the can. Oh, I see, because it's so far. Yeah, it's, it's, we are here and they are right here, right? So they are on the other side of the fortress. And then I can just walk back. Uh, and then you can walk back. Uh, after the once the visit is over, 
Sure. Uh, it's like a uh, ceremony of the canon kind of a thing? Yeah, exactly. She explains okay. how it works, how we shoot, and everything about uh, the rounds, uh, the powder, how... Even the bottom, this is where the creek is, and I think you will have time to go there, and just to go around this small arch, and she will be right here picking you up in like 10 minutes, right? Okay, sounds good. I'm fine. Thank you. abandoned? Uh, well, it, it has never been abandoned really, just for some years. Um, well, it, uh, it was abandoned when the military service, uh, well, it was compulsory in Spain. And uh, in the last uh, years of the, the last century, I don't know, uh, 1990 something or really 2000. I see. Uh, then uh, it uh, Compulsory anymore, so it was abandoned. Okay. And, uh, it was, uh, Quite they, recently, then. Yes, yeah. it was taken about uh, 12 uh, years later, but uh, just to show you this as a uh, well, uh, cultural non touristic uh, yeah. attraction. Yes, that's right. But uh, from the creation of it in the 19th century until uh, the end of, as I said, the last century, it was. Uh, Always on. Used as military barracks. Yes, kind of, that's yeah. right. That's right. Okay, so I was saying that uh, it was in 1926 when the Spanish government decided to buy a series of uh, canals, right, to distribute uh, around Spain. Uh, well, in order to protect Spain ourselves, it was a period of in between wars, and uh, also the um, the technique for uh, for the boats for the ships had uh, had evolved very very quick, and uh, well, in Spain they didn't uh, we didn't have at that time uh, anything um, good enough to to protect ourselves, so they bought a series of 18 cannons uh, the, and six came here, six, uh, two in the south of the island, two in the north and another two here in uh, La Mola. Y aquí el eh, proyectil. Esto era un montacargas ¿m? y una vez eh, el proyectil bien, bien cerrado, ¿eh? esto era, se encargaba de, de cerrar la escoleta. aquí para, para poder ver. Nosotros hemos seguido todos los números. Pero, uh, hola, mira qué bicho. Claro, claro, mismo, ¿no? claro porque no, por el... no nos ha dicho nada la de la chica de la entrada. Qué fuerte. Here's the cannon. Han subido ya antes, que alguno ha subido, creo, por allí. Eh, era por este camino por donde venían y aquí, desde aquí, se bajaban los proyectiles abajo. No se disparaban, ¿no? ¿Eh? Entonces, esto se disparaba una vez cada dos años, eh, pero como ejercicio de tiro. Vickers Armstrong en 1933. Que nunca se utilizó para, para, con fines bélicos. ¿eh? 
Entonces, eh, el alcance... A gunpowder building here. That's a lot of gunpowder. A military prison from 1948 until the 1970s. And so this is Cala Blanc, White Bay. The uh, lady that I rented the uh, rental car from had recommended this as a nice like local spot, something unique. It's a little late now, it's like a little after eight o'clock. Getting a bit late for a swim, but I might still go for it. That water looks really enticing.